Mac Hollins was so far from a lock to make the Miami Dolphins roster but his performance in camp and injuries have paved a path to the 53. Hollins has been playing very well and he now has two solid preseason games under his belt. Injuries to Devontae Parker, Preston Williams, and Will Fuller has allowed Hollins to climb up to the first team unit where he and Tua Tungavailoa are developing a rapport. Making it more interesting is the fact that Hollins' play is dictating his future with the team. Miami is stacked at wide receiver. Parker, Fuller, and Waddle are the clear locks to make the team but Fuller will miss week one on suspension and has yet to practice in training camp. It is unclear what the future holds for Jakeem Grant but he looks like another season will be in his future. That gives the Dolphins four receivers with Fuller out and Preston Williams is likely going to end up on the IR list which will eliminate him until after the season starts. We can assume that Albert Wilson who has a minor injury will make the 53 so that gives the Dolphins five after final cuts. Alan Hearns has been put on IR and is out for the season after having wrist surgery. So who is left to compete with Mac Hollins for a role on the FINA 53-man roster? Honestly, not much. Robert Foster has looked good but is still behind Hollins on the depth chart. Lynn Bowden Jr. is banged up and missed Saturday night's game. Malcolm Perry is versatile but isn't likely going to initially make the roster. That leaves Kyle Loxley, Kirk Merritt, and Isaiah Ford. None of those three are expected to make the roster and it is growing unlikely that Merritt will clear waivers. He is having a good camp so far. If we look at the receiver group as a whole, Holland's play has been very good and he deserves to make the team even on a deep unit. The final 53 should look like this. Honestly, not much. Robert Foster has looked good but is still behind Hollins on the depth chart. Lynn Bowden Jr. is banged up and missed Saturday night's game. Malcolm Perry is versatile but isn't likely going to initially make the roster. That leaves Kyle Loxley, Kirk Merritt, and Isaiah Ford. None of those three are expected to make the roster and it is growing unlikely that Merritt will clear waivers. He is having a good camp so far. If we look at the receiver group as a whole, Holland's play has been very good and he deserves to make the team even on a deep unit. The final 53 should look like this. 1. Devontae Parker. 2. Will Fuller. 3. Jalen Waddell. 4. Jakeem Grant. 5. Albert Wilson. 6. Mac Hollins. Following the cuts, the Dolphins will make these moves which will buy them at least a week. Will Fuller will be a roster exemption week 1 due to his suspension. Preston Williams, will likely start the year on IR. So where does the rest of the roster fit? For at least a week the Dolphins could carry seven receivers and frankly, I think they carry seven the entire year and Fuller will make that seven. Standing on the outside looking in will bring some questions because Miami likes what they have been seeing. There simply isn't any room on the roster. 1. Robert Foster. 2. Malcolm Perry. 3. Kirk Merritt. 4. Lynn Bowden Jr. Of those four, Bowden, in my opinion, has the best shot to make the team but where will the Dolphins slot him? Will they carry eight receivers? This is where the tougher decisions will be made but I can't see Hollins not on this roster when the season starts and if he gets a chance to play, I think he will continue to earn his roster spot.